So what's your favorite wine so far tonight? There was a cowgirl something that was very good. That's been mentioned a couple times, so it must be a favorite. I have some more to try, though. All right, well, thank you so much for speaking with me to say goodbye to the camera. All right, bye. Good night. Thank you. So do you have any good animal stories you'd like to share with the camera? Any funny things that happen over at the hospital? I probably have too many and really couldn't talk about anything specific. <laughs> I'm sure patient confidentiality issues, right? You really can't. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, yeah, so what are, your, what, what are the names of your friends who are uh, over here? Oh, I'm here with Susan and Laura Lee and my sister Jackie. <laughs> here they come. Hi, ladies. Having a good time? Yes, we are. Very nice. This is like a gem here, a hidden gem. Have well, fun. Have you ever been here before? No. First time. We'll come back. And how'd you hear about it? Through Lee, flipping through what paper? Newspaper. Yeah. Nice. It's great. Everyone should try it. Very nice. We had a good time. I was just going to ask if you'd recommend it to your friends, and you answered the question. Sure. So, what, so which is your favorite wine tonight? I like all the Merlots. Yeah, they were good. The Brunella. Very good. And the hospital's thinking about making our own barrel, right? Yeah. So. so that's what I understand you can do. You can get a group of people together and have a party, and then uh, get together and... Just roll the barrel to work, and... <laughs> <laughs> and just after a special day, we'll have our own uh, stash. There you go. Well, invite me over when okay. you do, all right? Take care of the dog. <laughs> All right, ladies. Well, enjoy. Um, sure, Branchburg enjoys having you all at the Branchburg Animal Hospital. Yep, come and see us. <laughs> and thanks for coming out tonight. Okay. All right, have a good evening. Right. Good night. Good night. <laughs> We've had wine, now we're having fun. Girls gone wild. <laughs> Girls gone wild. Great. <laughs> Good evening, my name is Emily. I'm here with On The Loose TV, and we are having a wonderful evening here at the Wine Room in Bound Brook. I'm here with Margaret Lyons, who is the event coordinator, and she has planned the most spectacular evening here. Tell me about it, Margaret. Well, coming up this Thursday, February 7th, from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m., it's an open house style for men. Uh, the intent is to have them come and buy their Valentine's Day gifts. Uh, we're going to have beautiful jewelry here. Uh, a dear friend of mine, Shannon Boxen, who owns Family Jewels in Branchburg, New Jersey. She, this is my second annual with her. First year we did it in my home. And we've had such a response that we could no longer have it in my home. I needed somewhere larger. So Jeff was kind enough to say, of course, you can have the wine room. What a great idea. I'm um, partnering with Sheriff Provenzano from the Somerset County Sheriff's Office. He's our sheriff. And he... Um, he, here in our county, he runs Project Lifesaver, which is what the benefit is for. It's for people who need the, um, it's a bracelet they wear um, for people with Alzheimer's, uh, autism, or other disabilities where they may need if they go missing. So the woman who's doing the jewelry, her son Jack, was just fitted for his bracelet. So it's a wonderful opportunity for she and I to get back to everything that the Sheriff's Office is doing for us in this community, so it's fantastic. So again, it's Thursday. 5 to 10, open house, and there's going to be a little girl here, Erin Kopecki is her name, she's my neighbor, and she's homeschooled, and she wanted to do a project to give back to her community, so she's been very busy baking and making chocolate lollipops and different things so that you can buy candy also. Um, so it's going to be a great night, um, so we hope that people come out. Women are welcome too, uh, it was just the intent, women love this jewelry. It was. Um, it was <laughs> uh, intended really Shameless plug. for uh, <laughs> men to be able to come out and have a nice night and enjoy some food, have something to drink, and do their shopping at their leisure and just have a good time. So, so, so we hope it's a big success. We really do. So uh, do you have any other events coming up that you'd like to share here at the Wine Room? We have on February 23rd, we're having a uh, bring people who have made wine here to bring their wine back, and we're going to have an exchange night. That's going to be a lot of fun, so bring your favorite wines. And March 8th, we're having the Chilean uh, wine night so that people can experience the Chilean wines because April 15th, those grapes come in and we'll be starting barrels and people coming in with their groups of friends to make wine. 
So I'm already working on my, my 10 people that I'm pulling together to make a barrel of wine. It's going to be a lot of fun. So is that about the right group, about the right crowd is to about 10? About 10, because then the, the, the cost, you know, it, it's, it's really nice and you each get two cases. So my husband and I have four, so it's even better. <laughs> so it's a great idea for a group of friends to get together. Mm -hmm. Does he want to come talk to us? Want to come say hi? Okay. <laughs> He's camera shy. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I think you've done a wonderful job tonight. I know everybody I've spoken to has had they has said that they've just enjoyed the evening tremendously. This is an amazing building. It's a the gem that's hidden in downtown Boundbrook, and I hope more people learn about it and want to have their parties here. And to contact us here at the wine room is seven three two two seven one wine, and we'll be more than happy to have your party here. Any kind of events. It's it's a, it's a beautiful beautiful building. I mean, the response is overwhelming. How people feel about this place. It's just lovely. So hopefully the people will call. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for having us tonight and good luck with all of your future events. Thank you very much. Thank Alrighty. you for being here. Good night. Bye -bye. Thank you. Good evening. This is Emily. I'm here with On The Loose TV at the Wine Room in Boundbrook. We're having a wonderful evening, enjoying some wine and hors d'oeuvres and dinner. I think everybody's enjoying the, the night here. What are your so, names? Ken Griggs. Linda Griggs. And you're here from what town? Martinsville. And how did you hear about tonight's event? Um, we've been doing business with Jeff for a couple of years and he just, he always has exciting things going on, which makes it fun to be involved with. We also made our wine through here. <laughs> what business is that? Uh, I do printing signs and shirts, service Apex in Bridgewater and Greenbrook. We do everything in house. That's the big thing. We don't outsource the work so things are done quickly. Very nice. And I, I take it this is not your first time that you've been here? No, it's not the first time we've right. been here. <laughs> that was a trick question. That was it. <laughs> we made how many cases of wine here? We made a barrel or two. Yeah. <laughs> a few barrels. Yeah. So. We barrels of wine here and we thoroughly enjoy it. <laughs> can't see your face there. There you are. It's wonderful. <laughs> So you've, so you've made a couple cases, a couple barrels, I guess, enjoyed them, and I understand you'll be coming back again and again because oh, it's absolutely. such a wonderful place. Absolutely. It's a lot of fun, and we enjoy coming, and we'll be coming again. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thank you. Thank All you. right. It was great. Thank you. Good night. Good evening. My name is Emily. I'm here with On The Loose TV, and we're here at the Wine Room in Boundbrook. I'm here with Jeff Neary, the owner of this fine establishment, and he has had quite a fabulous night tonight. Tell us about it. That was an excellent evening. Uh, oh, I did it again. I, <laughs> cut. Keep talking. Cut. Take two. Cut. <laughs> He's frazzled. You gotta keep talking. Okay. Yeah, tonight we uh, featured our Merlot wines that we made in 2006, our California season. Uh, we're getting ready for a Chilean season, which is starting April 15th. So, anything else that we should look out for? Uh, yeah, we have our next tasting is the 23rd of February. Uh, we have another tasting. I'm not even sure in uh, March, March 2nd, I think. Is it March 2nd? Yeah, and uh, that's we'll be featuring our Chilean wine season then. So I think have you ladies had a good time tonight? Excellent time. What My was favorite's the Brunello? Okay. Brunello, right? How about you? What's your favorite? I think the Brunello also, but it's a beautiful establishment, and I think that it's a wonderful place to visit and a wonderful host. <laughs> I must say, the place is decorated very, um, it, it's just gorgeous. I love the murals on the walls, the brick. Um, it's just uh, a lovely place to be for parties, as uh, a lot of people have told me. So. It's almost like being in Italy. Yes, yep. it taste Italy. That's where I copied it, taste of Italy. So come on down. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for having us, Jeff. We really enjoyed ourselves, as I think everybody else has as well. And we'll sign off. Have a good night.